Hey guys, welcome along to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, another review for you today. Um, back to a World War II uh, military vehicle. Um, thought maybe maybe you all wanted to get back to the old uh, military stuff, the air fees. Well, this is actually a soft skin, isn't it? So, um, but uh, before we start, if you like this, please don't forget to hit that like button at the end. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, then please subscribe. And if you want to be inundated with um, emails telling you I've put yet another video up, then hit that notifications bell. Um, if you don't like that, then uh, don't hit the notifications bell, but look back to the channel now and again. I do put a lot of videos up, be warned. Um, oh, and I've also started a Patreon channel now. I'm trying to gather enough money up together to buy a, a decent camera so we can get some better videos and then get some better lighting and just basically put it all into the channel and just get better and better as we go. So, um... Here we go. This is a kit from Mini Art, and I thought the newer modelers, younger modelers, people not so familiar with the hobby would like to see this because I basically bought this kit to do a review and build on the channel. Um, Mini Art are one of my favourite manufacturers. Mini Art ICM, they're, I love them. Um, what I like about Mini Art is their level of detail. They, I, I sometimes jokingly say, they will use 67 parts where one would have done. Um, and you'll see when we look at this, this kit inside the box, it's a very, very complex part. I mean, you can see it's, it's only a small truck and it's got 467 parts and 86 PE parts. Um, you know, it, it's incredible. The detail on this model will be astonishing, I can tell you. And um, sort of all of their later kits in the last sort of, I don't know, three to five years are in my opinion simply awesome um, they are amazing and they do a lot of tanks now with all the full interiors and everything always worth a look um, and you often find them at very reasonable prices as well this was under under a, a, a table at the Gloucester show last Sunday you can see I've paid 20 pounds for it um, but the thing is when these kits come out you'll, you'll see them everywhere for like you know 60 70 pounds or whatever for certain tanks and stuff Give it a few weeks and you'll see people like E-Model have a sale or Wonderland have a sale and, um, and and you'll get them for like 30, 40 quid. So, yeah, well worth waiting a little while. But um, mini art kits, love them. If you're, if you're an experienced modeler and you haven't built one, go and build one. If you're a beginner, perhaps get a few models under your belt before you get one because they are quite complicated and fiddly. Um, but yeah, they're, they're beautiful. So what we've got here is an L1500A KFZ. 70 German personnel car um, It looks to me very much like a horse sort of thing, but it's it's not it's obviously a Mercedes um, So going around the box we've got here. We've got an uh, unassembled plastic model kit 467 parts We've got some health and safety information here not for modelers don't give it to babies under three Well, why would you and it says for modelers age 14 and over so if you're between 3 and 14, then I don't know what you have to do with this. Made in Ukraine, which is uh, basically great. It's a 2012 kit. Um, end of the box there, looking lovely. And then we've got some schemes on the side here and a couple of images of the photo etch parts. Uh, that's obviously a grey scheme there with the white wash on it. And we've got the simple tan scheme there. I tend to do all my German vehicles grey and then give them a blue wash. And... Um, there we go, so let's look around the box, going into the box, um, got an instruction manual there, and then as with all mini art, you get one bag of sprues. Now, they're more complex kits, they tend to, they bag stuff up all together like, like Ravel and Airfix do, but they don't seem to get damaged, I don't know why they, they seem to do this, and if, if you look at some of their tank kits, you'll find the box is absolutely stuffed. But it's all in like three bags it's, it's incredible and it doesn't get damaged you can see the clear parts in there are separately bagged which is good as are the decals so um and we can see straight away when we look at these screws it's just a multitude of parts it's probably going to be 40 or 50 parts to make the chassis up you know it's um you can see the detail on the floor there so let's get this bag opened up and we'll have a look through it okay getting into the instruction manual we can see we've got the um the sprue callouts here, which is all very clear, very well printed, and they are numbered. Decal sheet there, two sheets of PE, two lots of clear parts, and it looks like we've got no parts not used. Um, so we're using the whole thing. Nice to see we've got plastic wheels rather than vinyl tires, which is cool. Um, a couple of guns there, we've got four of those, so we've got eight 
eight rifles in there, so that's nice. Um, and you'll find as well, Mini Art do this, they do a lot of very small sprues because they tend to be quite generic. And you'll find a lot of their tank kits, they'll have like 30 tiny little sprues in them. And um, really, really good, really, really nice. So, getting straight on into the build, we're straight on with the engine, uh, lots and lots of parts going in there. And as you can see here, we've got a, um, you know, a bolt head. This is the kind of detail that Mini Art go down to. You've got a bolt head there to go into that um, outrigger on the chassis. So when it goes up, it's going to like that bolt's actually going into the body or whatever's going above it. So, um, yeah, really, really nice, really, really good detail. And the parts will be very crisply molded too. So when we, when we get to there, you'll see that. So putting all the chassis rails together and then putting the cross members in, building it up like that. Uh, looks like this is the, going to be the rear end. We've got these stiffeners here. Um, Oh, sorry, that is the front end of the chassis. That's the rear. So yeah, you can see here we've got the um, like a towing eye bit that goes in there, whatever that is. And uh, yeah, it's some um, <clears throat> very very uh, complex, very very detailed, very highly detailed build. And as I say, it will, the moulding will be lovely as well. So we've got here. We're going on. We're starting to build up the shackles, and you can see we've got the the separate end mounts going on them. And then you've got this funny double leaf spring here. On the uh, on the rear of the chassis which is a funny thing I've never seen that before but I don't know why they've done that and then we've got the same on the front so we've got double leaf springs front and rear um, I know the Jeep has one on one side because of the steering effect with the torque but uh, I'm surprised it doesn't um, surprised it has it on all four and we've got these little outriggers here going on some parts of the steering and as you can see everything is it's it's all there everything is there you've got all the detail here going in the back of the brake drums and then there's your swivel which is going to go on the end of the axle um, and I can see here there could be a disaster yeah they've got this part here AB11 is just going straight onto the end of the axle so probably drill that out and put some brass in there or something to strengthen it up um, you've even got the UJ in there like you can see and then you've got the swivels top and bottom so you could actually make this steer I think if you wanted to, to we'll look at the parts we'll have a look at that um, you have to drill and pin all these uh, these points here but um, it's worth it to have poseable wheels or even just glue them in a steer position because seeing a model car you know with the wheels just slightly turned if you go back to my Monty's Humber it just makes such a difference just to put a bit of an angle on the wheels and then we've got the um, rear axle there going together building up the front bumper we've got the grill going in here so we've got a it looks like you can use the plastic grill or you've got the option to have, yeah, you've got the option here. You've got a plastic shell and then you can put a PE grill in there and then the PE Mercedes badge on there, which is and a PE ring for the uh, for the starter handle, which is really, really nice. I mean, that's the sort of thing you'd normally buy extra sets for and it's all here in the kit. So, yeah, that's the other thing I meant to say with Mini Art. You don't generally need to get any extras for them. Um, and then the radiator's going in here. We're dropping the engine in. Uh, we've got the radiator pipes there. Yeah, we have. Um, transfer box, drive shafts going in, and then we're building up our wheels, adding these uh, tread plates to the top of the front bumper there in photo etch, adding in the steering column, the, the steering box and the drop arm, and uh, another prop shaft there, so that's the actual main one coming out the back of the gearbox, and then we're going to put our wheels on, and this is that typical German look where you've got the, the one wheel facing in, one wheel facing out, giving you a Carlos Fandango look. Then we're going to go along here. We've got our um, jack going on, which is beautifully detailed. P brackets to hold it on, which is really, really nice. Um, then you've got the step here. So that's just one part. It looks like it's made up of separates. The one part there for the step. Toolbox there. Well, that looks like a toolbox or a battery box. More P brackets on there. Then we're going to start on the firewall. You can see we've got an oil can with P brackets holding it on. Um, that looks like a throttle linkage part. We've got PE parts there. And then we've got our brake master cylinder horn um, all there. And then the reverse side of the firewall, we're going to add in our pedals and our steering and everything. Um, God knows what that is. That's something that's going to be hidden away behind the dashboard by the look of it. We've got a little uh, accessories box there, a fuse box or something. I'm not sure what that is. Or a little toolbox. Might be a first aid box. And then if you look here, you've got the in the bottom of the floor you've got the, the 
the float the sub body there and then we've got a, a little um, master cylinder with a PE uh, T off on it and a little part there that's going to be the bottom of the brake master cylinder by the look of it so it's all quite incredibly detailed as I said and we've got these jerry cans here which is really really nice with the uh, like writing embossed on the side and you've got the PE flange to go around the middle so that's going to look very authentic then we're going on here this is looks like this the rear end this is the rear of the body so you can have it in the open position or in the closed position if you like so that's going to be a rear cover for something for a, something in the boot by the look of it uh, or in the trunk if you're in America um, and we've got another toolbox here or it might be a fuel tank I'm not sure we've got some seat mountings going up here we're building some seats up we've got a rear facing seat and then a bench seat going in there then we've got the two seats for the driver and the passenger in the front jerry can going in there on this side so you can see lots and lots of detail and then we've got this here which is that looks like another form of jack to me I'm not sure but it looks like another form of jack um, that there but it's got a lot of PE parts in it PE bracket and everything so yeah it's um it really is quite astounding the detail then we've got our rifles here with the, the rifle holders um, so we've got a rifle four rifles one in uh, for each seat oh no sorry there's two there okay so you've got you've got a rifle there next to each seat and then you've got two more rifles to stood up here so all in all you've got eight the eight rifles are in there so uh, get some wood grain effect on there look lovely adding the side panels in here be interested to see if there's ejector pin marks all over them or not we've got an axe with lots of PE parts here going on then we're into um, this is the underbody detail now and then we're making up the doors you see what I mean you've got these doors here with all these PE parts the brackets and hinges and God knows what really really nice we've got a P um, P bracket for the uh, blackout light which is nice uh, adding in detail into the fenders you've got a P bracket there for that little um, marker post that goes on and then we're going on to the engine louvers and we've got more PE P going in here um, then we've got window frames PE there for the um, photo extra I say not PE for our um, wipers which is really nice in fact there's a PE wiper going into a plastic mounting so you're going to get that full sort of you know the full bodied effect of the plastic spindle part and then going down into the PE for the fine for the fine bits which is nice um, and then we've got a dashboard going in here I suspect we've got some decals to go in there although it doesn't show here and then uh, building up our windows here when all the windows and the rear doors adding all that onto the body adding on the front fenders adding on the folded down rear roof so you can have the canvas in the open position or you can have canvas in closed position so you get the options for all that we'll see what those part I bet they look really really nice then we're going to add on our radiator grill we've got some chains here um, adding in all the frame for the uh, for the canvas roof as I said the detail is just astonishing guys and then we've got a shovel with all its brackets there all in PE and then there's our finishing off now making sure I've got any glare on the camera I'm sorry if I have um, adding on the doors adding on the, the bonnet or the, the hood um, you can have it opened or closed and then we've got some PE hinges here for the doors or, or stop should I say and then we're adding on the roof and some headlight detail going in here and uh, and then we're done and as you can see quite a, a major build okay I've brought you in now so we can look at these parts in more detail we've got a separate little bag for these parts so this is our our clear sprue and um, not the best clear parts I've ever seen but uh, but they're there nonetheless um, but I'm assuming that most of these clear parts would have been vinyl perhaps I'm not sure um, but they're they're not amazing let's just say that much they're, you can see they've got some um, if we look closely you can see there's some flaws in them um, sort of like a shadowing around the edge it's almost kind of authentic they almost look dirty so um, we'll have to see how they look when we build it but uh, yeah you can see they're not very flat either but then if they were vinyl then um, they're authentic so maybe they're that way on purpose who knows and then we've got our PE parts here we'll get these out of the bag but we've got um, 
one lot there you can see you've got the radiator grill and the emblem got some um, riveted panels there and there's those steps that go on top of the bumper and then turning over we've got all our mounting brackets that's the flange for the jerry can so uh, yeah all very very nice small but there very really really good and then our decal sheet or decal sheet and you can see made by Begamot so they're going to be quite nice and um, you can see there we've got a different number of plates different logos there and different various markings these white lines go around the fenders I generally paint those on so uh, yeah all separately yeah uh, they're not you know you don't have to cut them out they're um, separately done but um, yeah with everything you need in there so that's that out of the way so I'll go through the box of sprues in no particular order so this one is actually B so let's just check out what you focus yeah so um as I said we've got some very very fine detail on here and some very nice molding um, for example look at the molding on that spring it's uh, it's very very crisp it's very very clean um, and we can see there the, the fan pulley pulleys the actual fan itself I'll go, I'll, do is I'll go from one corner to the other so we've got the actual radiator grill there which is molded as one and then you can use that shell with the photo etch parts which is definitely the way I'll go and then we've got a radiator there engine blocks sump rocker cover looks like engine side covers engine cover tops and we've got our levers here by the look of it gear levers and various different bits of handles and brackets and stuff going in here all very very tiny you can see against my hand there tiny little parts tiny tiny parts little UJs there look gearbox bell housing there air filter by the look of it and then we've got these brackets here that go on the chassis cross members there for the chassis steering linkage by the look of it and then we've got a rear axle there it's got some sink marks in it but, uh, nothing a bit of Mr. Surfacer won't do and we've got our brake back plates which are very nice and very nicely molded and crisp and going across got more chassis parts there and then steering column that beautifully molded spring blackout light marker posts and then some chassis internal detail and you can see on there that the level of detail is just uh, quite incredible really really nice really beautifully done as I said if you've never built a mini art kit go get one they are lovely so there we go the detail on the other side as well so nice really really nice no ejector pin marks to speak of that are going to cause us any issues you can see we've got these separate ejector pin tabs on here that uh, means you don't have ejector pin marks to deal with but no lovely so that's that sprue now this next sprue is this is sprue f and as we can see we've got some lovely molding here we've got the the seats there looks like the seats bases which are all um, wrinkled up as they would be not sure if they'd have been canvas or uh, leather got the side panels here and the rear panel for the uh, the roof in the raised position and then we've got the internal framework for the roof here I've never seen that in a kit before but you actually get the complete framework that goes inside the roof and we'll look at the roof in a second in fact I can probably get the roof now Oh no, it's a part of another sprue. Um, but yeah, that goes in, into the roof then. You've got all the detail then if you look up inside. Um, this looks like mirror mounts, is it? No, they're going to be mountings for something or other. Or, or seat bases, perhaps. You can see the detail in there is lovely. And um, yeah, chassis rails here. So you can see it's not a very long vehicle. It's only, what is it, 130 millimetres long, that chassis. But um, again, looking on the back side... There's no ejector pin marks that are going to cause any issues and uh, really, really lovely. So let's get you a close up look at all this. There's the detail on that framework, which is really nice. And then we're going on, we've got this seat detail, instrument panel there. I didn't notice on the decal sheet, no, we don't get instruments. That's unusual. So you have to make up something for them. No, there's no instrument detail on there at all. Look. So we'll have to get some decals, use the uh, air scale ones perhaps. We'll rub some out of another kit. 
beautifully moulded steering wheel there which is very very fine you can see the detail on the bottom of that seat there which is it's just exquisite the, the level of trouble they go to to give you the detail in parts that are hardly even going to be seen in mean, the bottom of the seat frame you know and then when you turn over there won't be any ejector pin marks in the chassis see it's a shame other manufacturers can't do the same if you look at some of the latest main kits the ejector pins on them are just ridiculous they're everywhere and they're everywhere where they're going to be seen and um it's so nice that these guys really really take the time it's almost like wing nut wings where you've got a company which is modelers making models for modelers um, rather than just a company like to make money so we've got another sprue here this is sprue d and after saying nothing gets damaged if we look at the shovels uh, seen better days so that'll need replacing or repairing you can see on here we've got all our window frames we've got the doors there jerry can um all lovely what our tools there axe uh pickaxe there and a shovel and the the um jack there which is nice if you don't want to use that in this you'll have a nice detailed jack for one of your tanks but uh there we go so you've got a nice detail on there you can read there is engraved in the uh in the jerry can the detail on the doors is exquisite lovely bulk detail inside the door has got the detail as well and we've got those window frames which are looking lovely it's all in all it's a very very crisply molded kit and then there's this sprue here with the guns and we've got a rifle there with a bit of damage to the end of it and it's bending straight again um, as i said this is a second hand kit so it may have uh, may have had some abuse but we've got four of those so there's three can't find the fourth one then we've got this sprue here which is sprue ac and we get two of these i believe yes we do two of those exactly the same so that's got our wheel and tire detail on it obviously we've got some uh, shackles there obviously leaf springs um, and then we've got our hubs there by the look of it but have a look through here you can see the tire detail is lovely it's got the writing on the side there with the size okay so that's really really nice and we've got our shackle detail there headlights that's been slide molded so you get no seam sorry you do get a scene but you, you get hollow in the middle then we've got a leaf spring detail there which is nice no shrink no sh sinkage should i say and uh really really nicely molded and then you've got slide molding for the uh bolt detail on the top of the um, u-bolts and we've got some little tiny latches here some hooks little tiny brackets and bits and pieces lots of tiny little parts We've got this little sprue here which is dc which is our front axle transfer box prop shafts steering linkages and as i say a few more broken parts so uh, yeah unfortunately this the single bagging system hasn't worked very well for this kit and then uh, a b here's another sprue with some leaf spring on it leaf spring detail and that's our outer swivel detail there so yeah that could be made to um, to work because you've got the whole top and bottom and then you've got these this part eight is what goes in and uh, it swivels on so you could have your wheels in a steer position if you wanted to we've got the brake back plate there look with a lovely detail on it we've got two of those and then this one here this is sprue ae we get two of these and this has got our rear fenders on it by the look of it some seat backs seat bases maybe they're a little bit over the top just take a sand and stick to them and take them down a bit maybe they are a bit over the top i'm not sure but at least they got something on them um door handles there grab handles there or tie down handles whatever and then more seat frames there with that little handle detail on it yeah really nice really lovely really clean really crisp and then our final sprue 
is probably going to be sprue A. Nope, this is sprue E. So we've got sprue E here, which has got obviously our floor, roof, underbody, frame, fender there. All this has been attacked by the uh, by being thrown around. Then we've got the um, the main side body there, the bulkhead here, or firewall. So yeah, all in all, very very nice. We've got some more doors there. So not sure why we've got so many doors, but never mind. And maybe for the rear. But uh, yeah, and then we've got this this floor with this lovely sharp detail on here, lovely matting effect, which is nice. And then we've got the roof there, which is lovely, beautiful fabric sort of can, um, texture molded into it. And then when we turn it over, look at that, no ejector pin marks. And then we've got the cutouts for the frame to go in. Got some ejector pins on the floor there, quite big. They're going to need a bit of a clean up. Um, got some handles and stuff going on there. Internal detail on the uh, on the uh, body side panels you can see there. So that when you turn them over, that's the outside, that's the inside. A couple of ejector pin marks in the engine bay, but nothing much to worry about. The sand and stick will soon have them out. And there we go. So that's that sprue. And then finally, we've already seen that one. I've got a couple of loose parts here. We've got a fender here, which is very nice. No ejector pin marks inside that one. We've got the headlight mat on there. Little toolbox part. This is the folded down rear canvas if you want to have the roof folded down. The straps and everything on there, so that's all nice. Lovely uh, frame detail on the side there, all folded up. So that is that. So this has been the LF1500A KFZ70. German personnel car. Um, I paid £20 for it, I'm not sure what it retails at, um, but the kit number is 35147 if you want to uh, go and get yourself one. Um, and I can assure you this will be a beautiful little build. I probably will do a, vi a video build of it for you, uh, but it will all be in grey. So um, if you'd like to see that, let me know. Please like and subscribe if you've, uh, if you've liked this, and um, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all soon. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit it now. Go on, hit the like button. Like. See you all later. Bye bye.